Showbiz is a glamorous industry to be a part of, but it can be tricky business. One movie or TV show can make or break an actor's career. While actors like Millie Bobby Brown get major jump starts in their careers through successful shows like Stranger Things, many shows have four stars to leave the industry too. In this video, we'll talk about 10 TV shows that made actors quit the industry. First up, the two and a half men debacle. Let's talk about the ex-king of child stars, Angus T. Jones, who played the half man on the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men. Playing Jake Harper, he became the highest paid child star in 2010, raking in around $300,000 per episode. Jones decided to leave the show at the end of its 10th season in 2013. It was around the time he joined the Seventh Day Adventist Church. His beliefs made him uncomfortable with performing the increasingly inappropriate storylines the show required. He even made a massive statement on social media, telling people to stop watching Two and a Half Men. Jones has since stepped back from organized religion and has apologized to the cast and crew of the show. But it's clear that the show gave him more Hollywood than he could handle because he only has one small acting credit post men. Up next, this actress exposed one of Hollywood's major flaws. Portia de Rossi appeared in the fourth, fifth, and sixth seasons of the political thriller series Scandal, but she decided to quit the show midway through season six. De Rossi realized she didn't want to spend the next 20 years of her life fighting for roles as a middle-aged woman in Hollywood and asked creator Shonda Rhimes to write her off the show. She retired in 2017 and started her own art curation and publication company. The only exception of her retirement was starring in the fifth season of Arrested Development. De Rossi's story shows a massive flaw in the Hollywood machine, the lack of space for older women. While male actors gain more respect and love as they get grayer, <coughs> Clooney, <coughs> female actors just seem to disappear after 40. The industry really needs to do better. Moving on, from actor to activist. While most of these stories are quite sad, this one is actually quite positive. As an actor, Melissa Fitzgerald is best known for her role as Carol Fitzgerald on the show The West Wing. Fitzgerald appeared in over a hundred episodes of the series. Clearly, her time pretending to work in the halls of Washington, D.C. rubbed off on her, because after the show ended, she stepped away from acting and dedicated her life to full-time political activism. Fitzgerald has been politically active for all of her adult life, but in the years after The West Wing's conclusion, she found herself rejecting acting jobs to spend more time as an activist. She became the senior director of the nonprofit organization Justice for Vets in 2013. Almost a decade later, she still holds that position. Although we occasionally see her at West Wing reunion parties, the actor turned activist has left Hollywood behind. Next up, the voice of Eddie in Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Remember the weird, trippy cartoon show that none of us quite understood as kids? You may not recognize the name Tony Sampson, but you'll know his voice. He voiced Eddie in Ed, Ed, and Eddie. He was part of the show through its entire six-season run. In a candid interview last year, he revealed that he decided to quit the industry over a salary dispute. Samson claims that he asked for a modest salary raise toward the end of the show's run. Instead of meeting his demands, the production company threatened to blacklist him from the industry as a counter-offer. Clearly frustrated, he decided to quit the voiceover industry altogether. Today, he works as a heavy machine operator in the oil sands industry. Samson's story goes to show the poor treatment of artists in Hollywood. We need to stop supporting production companies that treat their employees this way. And now, remember Sam from iCarly? Jeanette McCurdy played one of the main characters in the hit Nickelodeon show iCarly. She also acted in its spin-off, Sam and Cat, where she decided that acting just wasn't for her. In an interview last year, McCurdy opened up about her experience of working on these Nickelodeon shows. She says that from a young age, she was pushed into the industry by her mother. She never really wanted to act herself. Her mother's influence was toxic and controlling, and after her death, McCurdy quit acting entirely. McCurdy was unfulfilled by her career and the kinds of roles she played. She was forced into a job that she wasn't passionate about, but couldn't leave because of her controlling mother. Her passing away gave McCurdy an out, and she hasn't looked back since. Recently, she adapted her one-woman stage show into a memoir, 
entitled I'm Glad My Mother Died. Clearly, the woman wasn't mommy of the year. Next, is Dr. Gray done with surgery? Everyone and their mother has heard of the hit medical drama Gray's Anatomy and its lead, Meredith Gray, played by Ellen Pompeo. While it's true that she's still acting in the long-running series, the actress confirmed in 2014 that she's done acting outside of the show. So, when Grey's Anatomy eventually comes to an end, it'll probably be the last time we see Pompeo on screen. Interestingly, showrunner Shonda Rhimes has gone on the record to say that the show will end whenever Pompeo decides to walk away. Although it was renewed for a 19th season this year, it's likely that this one will probably be the last. Last year, Pompeo reiterated that she has lost interest in acting, but clearly she's milking the show for every last drop before leaving the business. We respect the hustle. Moving on, Little Jay quits acting. The beautiful Taylor Momsen is best known for her role as Jenny Humphrey on the CW's hit teen drama series Gossip Girl. As seasons passed though, we started seeing less and less of her, and she quit the series entirely midway through season 4. The same year, she was publicly criticized by THE Tim Gunn, who shot a cameo in season 4 and called Momsen sad and pathetic for allegedly being unprofessional on set. Yikes. The next year, Little J confirmed that she has quit acting and will be focusing on her music. She has only appeared on screen once since then, in the 2012 finale of Gossip Girl. Momsen's musical career has popped off. She's the front woman of the rock band The Pretty Reckless, and the group released their fourth album earlier last year. Guess that grungy get-up in season three suited her. Next up, stick to comedy, Chappelle. Love him or hate him, there's no denying that Dave Chappelle is the biggest comedian of today. But did you know he tried to act back in the 2000s and that it failed miserably? Chappelle's sketch comedy series, The Chappelle Show, ran from 2003 to 2006 and was majorly successful. But it came to a screeching halt when he quit the series midway through the production of its third season. The show obviously demanded a lot from its lead, sometimes requiring him to work 20-hour days. Chappelle felt frustrated. He was burnt out and couldn't focus on his main passion, stand-up comedy. So he quit the show and brought back his stand-up specials. Clearly, Chappelle has no regrets. What with signing multi-million dollar deals with Netflix. Might not be much of an actor, but he knows what he's doing when it comes to comedy. And now, Joey Tribbiani finally retires. We all know Matt LeBlanc. The hilarious actor played kind of a bad one in the most iconic sitcom ever, Friends. Since the show wrapped up, he worked a few gigs here and there, including the unsuccessful Friends spin-off, Joey. Most unexpectedly, he became co-host of the Brit Auto Show Top Gear. As far back as 2017, LeBlanc has been open about wanting to retire. In 2019, he called it quits on Top Gear because of the time commitment and extensive travel it took to film the show, which kept him away from his friends and family. It seems that Top Gear made LeBlanc realize what he values most, as we haven't seen him on screen except for the series finale for his sitcom Man with a Plan. Has he retired for good? We're not sure, but with no projects currently in development, it does seem that way. Finally, the overnight sensation. If you live on planet Earth, you've heard of evil extraordinaire King Joffrey, played by the phenomenal Jack Gleason. The actor became an overnight sensation in his late teens because of his sensational performance on Game of Thrones. Even before his storyline came to an end in 2014, Gleason talked about retiring from screen acting once the show ended. And that's exactly what he did. He has talked about how passionate he is about acting, but his relationship with it changed once he started making a living out of it. Although he has appeared in a few on-screen roles here and there, Gleason has mostly stuck to acting in the theater. Acting has become his passion again. Good for you, Gleason. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these stories were you most surprised by? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.